Hi, it's me, Kylie, and this is my dog, Hash Brown. And we are so glad you're here today because it's a very special day around here. <gasps> Hash Brown, do you know why? It's Hash Brown's birthday! Oh, happy birthday, buddy! <gasps> Let's take him on a birthday walk. You wanna go on a walk? You wanna go on a walk with us? Come on. was a long and good walk, and we got to see a lot of our neighbors and friends. So awesome. What a good way to celebrate Hash Brown's birthday. I think he's tired. <laughs> hey, while he's not listening to us, I just had a secret special idea. What if you and I planned Hash Brown a surprise birthday party? We could make him presents, and a card, and decorations, and cupcakes, and everything. <laughs> Do you want to? Me too. Okay, let's go. To the studio. I think the first thing we should make is a card for Hash Brown. So I have some cardstock ready to go. I got my stamps and all my stickers out so that we can choose some amazing ones to decorate the card with. Well, Dax loves space, so we should put the space sticker on there. And, oh, Phil loves to longboard, so we'll put the skateboard on there. Oh, and video games. We all like playing video games. And, oh, pizza. I love pizza. Oh, and Dax and I love to get donuts together, too. And ice cream. Oh, my goodness. And I love riding bikes. This card is going to look so amazing, right? Hash Brown's going to... Oh, you know what? We like all these things, not hash brown. Celebrating someone's birthday is about them and what they love, not really about you and what you love or me or Dax or Phil or what we love. This is hash brown special day, right? Okay. Let's go back to these stickers. What does hash brown love? Oh, I see one right away. Squirrels. He loves playing with squirrels in our neighborhood. And I'm gonna keep pizza on there because he really likes stealing our food. Maybe we should add some more. Oh yeah, he likes french fries. He definitely likes hamburgers and hot dogs. Okay, he likes a lot of food. Tennis balls, oh yeah, that's a great one. And a fire hydrant. <laughs> he likes those, if you know what I mean. Anything else Hash Brown loves? Oh, a toy, a dog toy. Oh, and look at this. This is a dog food bowl full of dog treats. Perfect. Now these are stickers that would go on a card Hash Brown would love. And that's who we're celebrating. Let's make it. I love it, do you? More importantly, I think Hash Brown's gonna love it. And it's his birthday, so that's what this is about. Now it's time to write a special note on the inside of his card. Hmm. Dear, you love squirrels, tennis balls, eating our food, soft blankets, And we love you. 
<laughs> Happy birthday. Phil, Kylie, Dax, and our friends. That's you. This is a great start to Hash Brown's birthday surprise. I think it's perfect. And while I was writing the message inside, I had an idea of what we can make him for his birthday. We're gonna make him a soft doggy blanket and maybe some new toys and probably some treats and oh, decorations. Oh my goodness, we have so much to do. Let's go fabric shopping, come on. Okay, here's all of our choices of fabrics at this store for Hash Brown soft blanket and toys. What do you think he'd like? I love this one. Oh my goodness, this would look so cute in my, oh yeah. This is about Hash Brown, this is Hash Brown's birthday. Okay, Hash Brown, Hash Brown, what would he like? Oh, I love the, oh yeah, oh yeah, Hash Brown, okay. Do you see any fabric you think Hash Brown would like? What about this? This one's perfect. Look at these little white paw prints. I love it. And more importantly, he's gonna love it. Got our fabric and I think Hash Brown's gonna love it. Oh, I think he's right outside the studio. I think you know who is going to love it. <laughs> Cause it's a surprise. Okay, the first thing we're gonna make is a nice soft blanket for Hash Brown. And with the rest of the fabric, we'll make some toys. Ah, can't wait. First thing you need to do is lay out your fabric flat. Then cut it to the size that you want to make your blanket. I'm gonna make this one pretty small because it's for a small dog. If you were making a blanket for yourself or a friend or a person in your family, you might wanna make it a little bigger. That's up to you and them. What would they like? The blanket I'm making hash brown is going to have two different sides. I'm gonna have one side be this really cool paw print fabric and the other side be bright yellow. Whether your sides are the same or different, cut two pieces the same size. Then lay them right on top of each other, nice and flat. Then you're going to start on one side and cut strips about one inch or three centimeters thick. That's it. You're cutting through both pieces of fabric at once. Once you've cut strips all the way around, you're gonna start tying them up. This kind of blanket is often called a tie blanket for this reason. Keeping your fabrics together, take the first layer apart from the second layer and simply double knot them together like this. Bam, that's it. Now do that all the way around the edge of your blanket. While I'm tying this, do you wanna see some pictures of Hash Brown when he was a little puppy? <laughs> Here you go. Hash Brown's fleece blanket is done, but we have a bunch of leftover fleece. So I thought we would make a couple toys out of the fleece for him to open up in his present too. The first one we're gonna make is a rope toy, which Hash Brown loves because he loves playing tug of war with his mouth. Do you like playing tug of war? Probably not with your mouth, but it can be really fun. I started by cutting six pieces of fabric about two inches or five centimeters wide. And as long as you want your rope to be. And then I'm gonna layer them up. So two in each section, just to make it a little tougher because he's a tough dog. Then I'm gonna tie them all together on the top. in One big knot like this. Perfect, he'll really like that part. Arr. Divide your fabric into three sections. We have the left side, the right side, and 
the middle. I'm gonna start on the left side. So I'm gonna take both pieces of fabric on the left side and put them over the middle. So now they get their turn in the middle. Great. Now I'm gonna take my fabric from the right side and give it its turn in the middle. Whoop, here we go. Now we go to the left side again. Left side's turn. Perfect. Right side's turn. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and then another knot. I'm gonna give it a little trim. And ta-da! He is gonna love it. And it's so cute. Matches his blanket. <laughs> For our next hash brown toy, we're gonna recycle an empty plastic water bottle because hash brown loves this sound. Ready? Do you like it? I kinda do. We're gonna cover this with fleece so that it doesn't get all chewed up too fast. Though, he probably will chew it up eventually. It's okay. I'll just keep my eye on him to make sure he doesn't eat any of the plastic. For this, we're gonna use two layers of the fleece just like we did for the blanket and I'm gonna stack them right on top of each other. Next, I'm going to lay my bottle right in the middle and cut strips just like we did for the fleece blanket almost all the way to the bottle, all the way around. strips cut all the way around. You're going to put your bottle right inside, cover it up, and then start tying just like we did with the fleece blanket. tie two pieces from neighboring knots together, which will make one more knot to keep this nice and safe. So, one from this knot, one from this knot. Shroom. Look at this super fun toy we made. He can crinkle on this part and chew on all this part up here. I love wrapping presents. How about you? When I was little at my dad's house, I used to love planning birthday parties for my sisters. I used to love decorating for their parties and wrapping all their presents. I would have wrapped my own presents and that would have been a good birthday. Since Hash Brown doesn't really have fingers, I'm gonna put his presents in a bag so he can just put his little face in there. I think he's gonna love it. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Then I like to do this last fancy step of adding a little pizzazz with the tissue paper. Just like that. I just grab it right in the middle. Go like this. Whoosh. Better if you make the sound. And then just tuck it right across the top. Cool! Oh yeah, this looks good. Then we have our card that we made and we'll put that right front. Okay, we have our present ready. Now I think we need to work on decorations. Do you see the pattern I'm making? Yellow, black, white. Yellow, black, white. Which color will be next? Yellow, good job. What's next? Black. And, do you remember? 
white. make some decorations for Hash Brown's birthday party and I'm going to make some balloon animals. Have you ever tried this? The first thing you need are these long balloons. Then I like to use a balloon pump because these are kind of hard to blow up. I like to give it a good stretch. Ah, whoa! <laughs> then you put the opening of the balloon on the nozzle of your pump and make sure you hold it nice and tight so that no air can escape. Then pump it up. Depending on what you're making, you might want to leave a little room at the end of the balloon so that when the air is moving around when you're making twists, it has a place to go. Now it's time to tie the balloon. This can be kind of tricky to do, so ask an adult for help if you need to. What you're going to do, notice I'm pinching it shut right now because it's not tied yet. All the air would go out and it would like, whoo, all over the place. Oh, now I need to blow it up again. <laughs> Hold on. This is the tricky part. You need to wrap the opening all the way around and then bring the opening underneath your loop. You're gonna cross it over and sneak it underneath, just like that. Then you made a little twist there, see? You're gonna sneak your finger out, pull it tight, and you tied a balloon. Good for you. The way that these balloons work, you don't need any glue or tape or rubber bands or anything. The air in there presses against the twist so it holds them nice and tight. So basically, let's say we're gonna make a crown. You just decide where you wanna tie it off. Do a twist like this, and then another twist. And once there's two twists just like that, you can twist them together. All that air pressure holds it tight. You don't need any tape or anything. Looks good, huh? <laughs> Check this out. We can even make twists all at once. I'm gonna twist this one into a big Z like this. Make one big twist. What's that, you wonder? Well, hold on a second. Two, four, five. Look, it's a little flower. Did you see that coming? I can even attach my flower to my new crown. Ready? <laughs> Do you like it? Party time, Hash Brown's birthday. I can't say that Hash Brown really loves flowers though. So, because this is his birthday, let's make some balloon dogs. You're gonna blow up a balloon with a little bit of a tail because we're gonna be doing a lot of twists. Your first twist is gonna be for the dog's nose and like mouth area. So decide how long you want that to be. I'm gonna go about this long and make a twist. Our next twist, we're gonna bend over like the shape of a U, like that. Make your next twist and then twist the twist together. That makes the dog's nose his little face and his big ears. The next part is a twist for how long his neck is going to be. So maybe if you want a really long neck dog or a giraffe, you can leave it really long. Hash Brown has a pretty short neck, so I'm gonna make it pretty short. Make your next twist. Now I'm gonna do its legs. Hash Brown has pretty short legs, so I'm gonna do a twist about that long. Twist those together to keep them nice and tight. Hash Brown has a pretty long body, so I'm gonna do his last leg twist down here. Double it around again. Another twist, twist those twists together. And, ta-da, a balloon dog. 
You can even draw on eyes and a nose and any spots or anything you want. I think I'm gonna do that. Perfect. I'm gonna go hang you up. Let's go bake up some cupcakes for the party. Come on, let's mix them up. definitely need party hats. Any party needs party hats. Paper, elastic cord, stapler, scissors. Let's do it. Roll your paper into a cone. Trim it to how tall you want the hat to be. Boop. Attach with a stapler. Then take some elastic thread Cut it to size, knot on both ends, and then staple that on either side of your hat. I'm gonna make it a little more festive by adding some crepe paper to the very top. That'll be fun. Awesome. I think this one is going to be perfect for the birthday dog. The cupcakes are cooled off, so it's time to frost them. I came up with a design I think hash brown is going to love. I thought to myself, what does hash brown like? And just that moment, I looked out the window and there he was, chewing on a stick. And I thought, that's it, we're gonna make grass stick cupcakes. So we're gonna mix up our frosting to make it green and we're gonna use these stick pretzels as sticks. First thing we need to do is add a little bit of food coloring. Time to stir it up. I mixed up my green really well, so now it's time to frost. I have this really cool frosting contraption. You don't need this. You could just put it on with a knife or a piping bag. This is kind of in place of a piping bag. I'm gonna put the frosting into the cylinder, and then I need to choose which bit I want to put on the end. Different bits will give you different designs. For example, this one is just a smooth circle. So that's gonna get us a really smooth frosting look. This one is like a star. And so that's gonna get us um, kind of a bumpier look. So I think that's what I'm gonna do this time. I just need to put it right in here and then screw this onto the end of the cylinder. Ready to go. Now that I have the frosting and the bit in, I'm gonna put this in plunger side down and screw it on. We take my first cupcake, push the plunger like this so that the frosting starts to come out. Then I'm gonna start on one side Go around slowly. Cool! 
Then I'm gonna decorate with some sticks. He's gonna love that. Okay, let's get Hash Brown up here. Ready, Hash Brown? Yeah. Surprise! Yeah. <gasps> Happy birthday! Yeah. Hash Brown, this is your birthday party! <laughs> Cute! <Yeah. laughs> Happy birthday, Hash Brown. We love you so much. Do you wanna give him a birthday kiss? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Hash Brown. Happy birthday to you. Blow them out, blow them out. One more. Oh, awesome. Let's take the paper off. Here you go. Whoa. <laughs> Did you like it, Hash Brown? <laughs> Hash Brown, my friends and I also made a very special present for you. Check it out! This is your card. It says, Happy Birthday, Hash Brown. And look, Dex, what's on here? Hash Brown, do you like all those things? Yep. Inside we wrote you a special note. It says, Dear Hash Brown, you love squirrels, tennis balls, eating our food, soft blankets, treats, and new toys. And we love you! Happy birthday, Phil, Kylie, Dax, and our friends. Are you ready to see your present? Yep. Okay. Toy. The hash brown. Look in there, hash. What is it? Whoa. What is hash brown, it? look. Hashi, look. Is it a hash brown? <gasps> look, hash brown, it's a new blanket just for you. My friends and I made it. Do you love it? Oh, so cute. What? There's more. This is a toy. Toy? Like a blanket? It's a little squishy toy. Oh. What play? One more, hash brown. Dax is gonna help you. What's in there? <gasps> Hash brown, look. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I knew you'd love this one. Tug no. of war, tug of war. <laughs> My friends and I tried to make a birthday party that you would like just for you, Hash Brown. Did you like your surprise? I think he did, I think he did. If you wanna make more crafts with me, search for Kylie Makes It. K-Y-L-E-E, -E, that's me. How do you spell? E and D-A-X, that's him. <laughs> We'll see you next time.